In this video we're going to be talking about adding integers. And so if you haven't, take a look at the previous video I did on just an introduction into integers. And that will kind of get you ready for what I'm talking about. Okay, this adding integers is going to kind of come in two parts. The first part is going to be what are we talking about when we're talking about adding? How do we visualize what's going on? The second part is going to talk about certain rules that you have to obey and things that are kind of special to integers. Okay, so the way I introduce integers and adding and sub well and subtracting, but that's for a different video, is I use a person walking the number line. Okay, and I, I really think that this is a good way, and my students tend to respond well to this, and so kind of bear with me on it, and and don't you know don't be afraid to get up and actually walk. It's okay. All right, now while this is kind of an, a nice way to visualize it, it's still very important that you study this and be proficient. It is a skill. You've got to do some problems in order to actually build your proficiency. It's just like if you were becoming an electrician or carpenter or mason. You have to practice that if you want to get any better. And there are going to be some things that you just flat out have to memorize. It's kind of one of those things. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here I have a number line. And here I'm going to demonstrate how to walk the number line. And so first, let's kind of describe the number line so that we, we know what we're talking about here. As I move to the left on the number line, and this is convention. Mathematicians just said, hey, let's just do this. Fine. All right. As long as everybody does it. As we move to the left, we become more negative. Okay. As we move to the right, we become more positive. Now, the reason why I'm not putting negative or positive, but more positive and more negative, is to kind of compare numbers. If we were, for example, to start here and compare negative 5 and this point here, which is negative 3, I can say, well, since negative 5 is on the more negative side, negative 5 is more negative than negative 3. And uh, on the flip side of that, I can say that negative 3 is more positive than negative 5. So when you're doing your comparators, like greater than, less than, less than, greater than, the arrow always points to the more negative number, and the alligator always eats the more positive. Okay, this is a slight adaptation to the alligator always eats the larger number. Larger is not necessarily, is not a good descriptor because some people think that negative 5 is larger than negative 3. Okay, 5 is larger than 3, but negative 5 is actually smaller than negative 3. So, this is just to kind of give you an idea of, of why uh, I tend to use more negative and more positive. It also has to do with direction. I'll show you that. Okay, let's come up with a, a problem here. Let's say something like negative 2 plus, and I'm spreading this out on purpose. Okay. So I've got negative 2 plus negative 3. What does that equal? Okay, well let's identify every single piece to this. Negative 2 is going to be the place where you start. So you're going to start here. Okay, so if, you're, if you've got a number line on the floor, that'd be awesome. But right now, let's go ahead and we'll just put a little man here. He's going to get to a lot of running in, so he's not going to be very happy with me by the time I'm done. But here we have a little man here at negative 2. Now, I've already got him kind of jump the gun here. The second, or uh, the first sign here, that, that next piece to the puzzle, this is going to tell you which way to face. And it is literal. If that is a plus, you face towards the positive side, or more positive. If it's a negative, you face towards the negative side, or the more negative. Okay, the negative, we're not going to put a negative in here until uh, we talk about subtraction. But this idea works for both of them. Okay, now, here comes the tricky part. The second sign tells you which way to walk. And so if it's negative, that kind of, uh, that's supposed to simulate walking backwards as positive would simulate walking forwards. 
Okay, and so you kind of have to just have this visualization. Plus a negative three. We're going to face more positive. We're going to walk backwards. And how far do we walk? We walk this far. Walk this many steps. Okay, so negative 2, that's our start point. We're facing towards the positive, and we are going to walk towards the negative. Okay, so let's draw our little man walking here. We got one step, two steps, three steps. He's still happy. Okay, so now we've walked backwards three steps, and where are we? We are at the answer. So we're right here at negative five. And so that's the answer to the problem. Okay, so you start at negative two, you face towards the positive, you walk backwards, and you walk that far. Go ahead and try this again, and, and, and you know you can flip up the numbers and that sort of thing. Use a calculator. But at this point, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to do another problem, but I'm going to erase all this. All right. If you haven't had a chance to kind of pause the video and take a look, and just make sure that you understand, go ahead and go back and take a look at the video again. Okay, here's our second problem. We're going to do this problem exactly how we did the first. Okay, so... We have to identify everything. That first number here is going to be where we start. So we start there. The next number, or the first sign, is going to be which way we face. Face that way. Now, here's where the trick comes in. And it's not really a trick, it's just a, uh, how do we do this? So we're going to take negative 3 and add 4. Okay, well, we, we don't have a second sign, so we have to put one in. If there is no second sign, it's positive. And so we are going to walk forward. In the previous example, we walked backwards because we had a negative 3. Here we're going to walk forwards because it says negative 3 plus 4. The 4 is positive. Unless they tell you otherwise, it's positive. If you don't see a sign, put a, pl put a plus there. It'll be fine. And then, of course, we're going to walk that far. Now, my little man got bored before. He's going to start here on negative 3. And he wants to do something a little different. This time he's going to, he's going to jump. And so he's going to jump 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember, he was facing towards the positive. That's what that first sign told us. And then he went forward four spots. So one, two, three, four puts him over here at plus one. Okay. So now the answer to negative three plus four is one. And that's it. That's adding of integers. You're going to have to kind of work with it here, but this is the idea. You start, you face, what direction do you walk? Walk that far and every single one of these problems works that way. As you get better at it, you're going to find out you can, sum, you can rewrite these according to our different rules, and I'll illustrate that in another video.